We want to know what is going to happen over the next four to six months of winter. So the best person to ask is Corey Edel, weather specialist for Shaw TV. Corey, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Hugh. Well, four to six months is quite a long time frame for weather prediction, but there are some resources that we can use to take a look at long range model forecasting. So with that, I'll try to give you the best answers that I can. Well, you know, Corey, over the last four weeks, we haven't had much rain. We've probably had one day of rain. Will we see snow or rain before Halloween? Well, at that, this point, it doesn't look as though we are going to be seeing any rain or snow before Halloween or right up to that date. We do have an area of high pressure building in, and this ridge of high pressure is going to be hanging around, looks like right up until Halloween. So we are going to be seeing mainly clear skies. This is just one of the models that I do use for some of my uh, forecasting. With that area of high pressure hanging over much of the prairie, so once we get to Halloween, we're going to be seeing fairly clear skies and some above seasonal temperatures. So far, it looks like you are not going to have to wear that winter coat over your Halloween costume. We've heard a rumor. We've heard a rumor that this winter is going to be one of the coldest winters on record. Is this true? Well, Hugh, as far as predicting whether it's going to be the coldest winter on record, hard to do so. There are many people that say, yes, it will. And there is some data that is at least presenting that it is going to be below seasonal temperatures. This area of blue covering much of Western Canada, including us here in Red Deer and Alberta, and northern areas of the country. This is long range model output done by Environment Canada. This was at the beginning of October for the months of October, November, and December. And it is pointing towards below normal temperature. So at least as far as Environment Canada is concerned, this winter is looking to be a bit on the cold side. Farmers Almanac also looking to our winter to be very cold and average snowfall. This falling right here in the Red Deer region. So whether it's going to be record breaking, I'm not sure. We are going to have to really sit it out until we find out whether any records are broken. But data so far is pointing below average temperatures. Now, Corey, should we expect similar weather patterns for the rest of Alberta and Western Canada? Yes, Hugh, it does look as though Western Canada as well as Alberta will be seeing similar patterns as far as precipitation, above seasonal precipitations, as well as below temperature averages are going to be seen. The area in red here does indicate above normal. This is for precipitation for October, November, December as we do head into winter. With that, areas to the north in Western Canada will be seeing below low normal precipitations. As we take a look at the temperature once again, this area in blue covering all of Western Canada below seasonal temperatures for winter. So seeing very similar conditions, also the U.S. Um, for, uh, Farmers Almanac also predicting the same for much of Western Canada. Cold as well as snowy conditions. The good thing, the long-term forecast and model output showing that our summer here in Red Deer could be above seasonal warm and hot in many cases with average rainfalls. And finally, Corey, a lot of people are expecting about one, maybe two months of winter. Is that where we're going to get this year? Two months of winter, maybe just keep it short. Is that going to happen? Well, Hugh, at this point, all the data is pointing towards at least one to two months of a good winter here in the Red Deer region throughout much of Western Canada as well. So be prepared for it. We should expect it. It does come every year, but this year it looks like it could be exceptionally cold and long. Thanks, Hugh. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Corey. You're welcome. All right, that's Corey Edel, weather specialist for Shaw TV.